know when you're back in Sydney when you go over the Harbour Bridge. Uh, it really gives you a wake-up call, but it's you know it's quite spectacular. It's quite a it's quite amazing. It's hard to believe that I've owned the uh, Porsche for almost two years. Uh, two years, I picked it up on the first, first or second of February 2017. Uh, so today I took the car into Order House Hamilton. Uh, it's getting a service and that is the intermediate service. So the intermediate service has a few extra things to the minor service. Had the minor service last year, which is just the oil change. Intermediate service, I think they said they look at the air filters and change the air filters. It's also having a brake flush as well. Apparently that's required every two years. Um, so that's being done today. Um, I should be able to go and pick it up soon. I dropped it off very early this morning. So I guess what you guys are interested in is how much it costs for a intermediate service in Australia. Well, uh, I think Porsche Australia, if you take it to Porsche Australia, Porsche Centre South Sydney or Porsche Willoughby here, I checked online, I don't know whether it was Porsche Sydney or Porsche Parramatta, a suburb here in Sydney, but I think the price is about 1290 Australian dollars or close to 1300 Australian dollars for an intermediate service. Now that's for a 997, uh, obviously the prices, that's a 997 Carrera, obviously the prices go up if you have a GT3, I noticed the GT3 prices are more expensive, GT2 prices are more expensive, uh, 991s I think are a little bit more expensive, so that's based on a 997. Now in comparison, and I think when you own an older Porsche it does actually uh, pay to go to a, a, a really good independent, uh, luckily in Sydney there is a few, uh, the one that I chose is due to recommendations from my friend, um, and other people as well, a lot of people use them. And I use Auto House Hamilton, as you guys know, and I know some of you that watch the channel also have used Auto House Hamilton. Um, and they're great, they're really, really good. Uh, the intermediate service from Auto House Hamilton is around $950. Now that's if they don't find anything else wrong. Uh, I think when the brake flush was added on, the brake flush took it up another 250 I haven't paid for it yet. Uh, when I go out there this afternoon, I can update you guys, but that's what I was quoted this morning. Around about, depending on... I don't think anything else is going to have to be added on because I haven't had a call from them and I was there at 8 this morning and now it's uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So I think everything else is probably okay. I, I thought it was, I thought it was. Uh, I mentioned to you guys in one previous video that I had like a squeaking noise in the left rear that I could hear a squeaking noise. For some reason that squeaking noise has now gone away. Uh, I know a couple of you have told me on Instagram I think that it could be a wheel bearing. Other people have suggested that it's a brake issue and it's the brake pads. The noise has gone away for now so um, I didn't bring it up. Maybe I should have brought it up but I didn't bring it up so that's that's something less to worry about anyway, because it's not happening anymore. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, that's what else? What else? I bought uh, from LA Dismantler. Well, I sent him the money today. I bought the two uh, leather blades uh, next to the PCM unit. Uh, mine are the plastic blades. I think it will look okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can install them, self, uh, install them myself. Um, so I guess that's another fun install video. They were cheap. They were 125 100 and Reasonably cheap, there are 150 US dollars. I think I might have mentioned that before. 150 US dollars shipping to Australia is not cheap. That was 125 US dollars. So in total, those blades cost me 275 US dollars shipped. Uh, the new part from Suncoast, which will be cheaper than anywhere else and cheaper than buying in Australia, was 14, 1500 US plus shipping. So that's about 1600, 1550 US, which is about. 2,000 Australian and then I would hit I would get hit with uh, tax on the way in so it probably add another 10% on so probably 2200 <clears throat> so they're not perfect they've got a few dings in them uh, hopefully I can put some I can clean them leather clean them and put some uh, conditioner on them um, I asked them if there were any damage to the stitching or the brackets everything apparently is okay uh, and I know they're reasonably reputable, well they are reputable, LA Dismantler, they've been away for, around for a long time and I know people like Magnus Walker and uh, celebrity Porsche people actually get their parts from LA Dismantler, so that's uh, another thing that's on its way. <coughs> um, short shifter, uh, the short shifter I have not installed. Uh, the short shifter I'm going to install, 
Uh, I just don't know whether now I'm going to install it this trip or I'm going to install it when I come back in a few months. Uh, I know you guys will probably think that's a little bit weird, um, but there have been a lot of expenses for the car, as in registration, insurance, uh, service, and all the things I've been buying. I've actually bought too many things, so that's it. I'm not buying anymore. James at Auto Amateur, it's up to you to keep buying parts and keep installing them because I've stopped for the next few months. I cannot buy any more things. I have, I have overspent my budget, overspent my budget. And it's very easily, very easy to do. And I've already found more leather parts that I want. Uh, luckily, Exclusive Options uh, website doesn't work so uh, at the moment. So you can't actually uh, get on to check the parts. But um, I think I need to stop. I really do. I think I need to stop. My friend the other day in Sydney who owns a GT3, and he's probably watching this, shared his uh, purchases from Exclusive Options. And... His car looks fantastic for all the parts that he's added into it, but man, that was a lot of money. Like, it's a lot of money. Uh, but I guess if you allocate that money when you buy the car and you think, okay, I'm going to add this amount of money in in mods, my car's gone up in value, which the GT3 has, it all balances out in the end. And the car looks great for it, it really does. But the leather parts add up. And I know a lot of you thought I was crazy for getting that little key surround, which was 165 US dollars. And it is a lot of money, but you know what? Just then when I drove the car out to service, I noticed it, it felt different, and that's enough for me, so it's worth it. Uh, the center console, I was worried about the color. Uh, the center console color is actually perfect. Um, I know James at Auto Amateur was talking about this. On the Suncoast uh, site, there are two parts, a premium leather and the other one which I bought, which is cheaper. I bought the cheaper one, I didn't buy the premium leather. Uh, I did ask uh, the guy at the parts part at parts department at Suncoast if it was leather. He told me it was leather. I don't know which part is leather and which part is leatherette because it says leather leatherette, so I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know. I thought it was leather. He told me it was leather because uh, I know James mentioned this and he thought it was a leatherette fabric. That is the one I bought. I didn't actually buy the premium leather. The premium leather the one was uh, 900 thousand US dollars way way too much for that part um, but I like it it looks good I notice it uh, I put some uh, auto glim uh, leather balm on it and it has come up the colors come up and it's black and some codes recommend that on their site they actually say that with the new leather you need to put a conditioner on it to bring the uh, <clears throat> to bring the leather color out and it's it's made it so much better uh, so that's good happy with that uh, but that's about it. I don't think I'm planning anything else. I will install those blades myself. I've been checking online and, and I know they're quite easy. It's just a couple of screws. You just have to be careful when you pull the top and the top edge out. Uh, the top edge, you can actually break the clips. And uh, someone was very kind to say that to me on the YouTube comments. I'm looking at my computer if you're wondering. I'm not sitting at my computer, so I'm looking at the computer like it's gonna talk back to me. Uh, Anyway, I had a comment, I can't remember the guy's name. He said, uh, be careful when you buy them, the clips aren't broken, and be careful when you take them out because of the clips. But I bought them anyway, um, and they're not broken apparently, so they should be good. What else? Apart from that, that's about it. I'm gonna go and pick up the car now. So instead of me talking, uh, I'll talk on the way back in the car. So let's go and pick up the car and let's have a chat on the way back from Auto House Hamilton. Another crazy hot day in Sydney today. Australian weather, Australian summer. If you haven't been to Australia before, I suggest you come just for the weather. Uh, so I picked up the car, uh, everything is okay. Uh, no extra costs, no extra uh, things to do. So it was just the intermediate service. The car feels good actually, the car feels good. It always feels good after a service. I think it's that new oil. I just need to get it out on the road more and uh, I need to drive it more basically. You know, which is what I was just talking to uh, the guy at Auto House. I need to, I need to drive it. Um, but it feels good, so that's done. Uh, it was actually cheaper than I thought. It ended up only being uh, just over 1,000 Australian dollars uh, for the intermediate service plus the um, brake flush. 
the filter was cleaned, didn't have to be changed, uh, nothing else. So now it's just about getting the short shifter fitted, which I'll probably do next week. Uh, the short shifter is a uh, taking it slowly and being careful not to scratch any of the interior and stuff like that is about a four hour job, uh, they've said, four hours of, of labor. Um, so it's a little bit more than I thought, uh, but <clears throat> like I said, I bought it and I should install it. Um, but I'd rather them do it properly and, and not scratch and not uh, wreck the interior, so it's important. But in all, that's good. So that's another thing done. So since I've been back in Sydney, I've got the car uh, registered, uh, checked over before the registration. Uh, now I've had the service, and now I'm organising the new policy for the year, the new insurance policy with um, I insure through Porsche Insurance in Australia. Uh, so that's being organised now. So once that's done, all the routine maintenance for the year have been done uh, until next January. Uh, all in all, the costs have been, you know, they've been reasonable. They're pretty, pretty good. Um, I might do an, a, a calculation when I get back and put it on the screen. I don't like putting all the figures on the screen uh, or, or saying all the figures, but I guess when you think of the things that I've purchased from Suncoast, from Design 911, the short shifter, uh, to get the short shifter fitted. Uh, I just bought the blades, as I said earlier, at home. Um, you know, I'm probably... It's probably close to $5,000 Australian, which is quite a lot, uh, which I could have not have bought all those things. Um, but that's with everything. That's with insurance, rego, service, you know, so I guess I'm talking total costs. What I usually do is I, I don't... I know it seems like I'm buying a lot of things for the car, but I actually don't. Uh, I tend to leave it in January, like last year. I tend to buy things and, and, and that's my spending month for the car. Uh, except when I first purchased the car and I you know put the Fister exhaust and the uh, wheels on reasonably early. But I kind of costed that into what I was paying for the car. Um, but I think that's about it for uh, extra mods once I get those leather blades from LA Dismantler. Once I get the extra blades, uh, hopefully I can put them in myself because I think they'll take a little while to come. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's what I was saying now anyway. Uh, but it's, it's great at the moment and I, I have to say it's a really cool thing that, uh, you know, there's a lot of good Porsche channels on, uh, on YouTube, but all of a sudden there's a lot of great 997 channels and I'm, I'd like to think that I'm going, to, you know, trying to be one of those, but <laughs> with uh, Auto Amateur, um, my, my friend James, with 911%, uh, with uh, uh, Eat Sleep Drive, is, it? is that a 997? Uh, car fanatics. There's, there's quite a lot of channels focusing on the 997, which I think is, is good. It's good, and it, it's good to have the community uh, around this generation. You know, around the sixth generation of the of the 911. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm heading back to my house, my home, my apartment. Uh, that's another chore done. I say it's a chore because. Sometimes when you spend money, it is a chore, but that's done. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk to you guys when I get back to the apartment. Um, but all good. Thumbs up, all good. Happy. Yeah, so I'm just looking at the uh, invoice now from the service. So the intermediate service was, uh, this is X tax Australia, tax gets added on, which is 10%. Uh, $647.21 for the intermediate service. And then it had a uh, brake and clutch fluid flush. Um, and that was that was 300 uh, so 300 which brings me to a total of uh, 985 with other little sundry things 985 and with GST it goes up to one thousand and eighty four dollars and twenty five cents that's Australian dollars so one thousand Australian dollars let me check so one one thousand and eighty four Australian dollars is is approximately 760 US dollars for an intermediate service. What do you guys pay? Is that what you pay in the US for an intermediate service? 
um, and in pounds it is 600 pounds so 600 pounds for an intermediate service is that around about the same price bearing in mind that Auto House Hamilton's prices are much cheaper than going to Porsche like I said earlier so you know this this is this is really good service uh, professional I mean, I'm not saying Porsche dealers aren't professional, but you know what I mean. Like for a, for an independent specialist, it's really, really good service. Uh, I'm really happy with them, and I'm just wondering though, is that what you pay in the US? Is that what you pay in 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 UK for a intermediate service? Um, I don't know what the price of us. My, my minor service, I think, was about maybe a couple of hundred dollars cheaper. I think from memory, I don't have the paperwork in front of me, but um, yeah. So just a bit of an update today, uh, service day, so that's done. Always feels good when you have the service done on your 911 and uh, it's back to being, you know, checked over. It's always nice to have it checked over to make sure there's no issues. Uh, it felt great driving back. Uh, I know you think I'm crazy, but the brakes and the clutch actually felt better <laughs> driving back. Uh, that was before I knew the clutch was, the, there was a fluid, uh, there was, the flush of the brake and clutch systems. That was before I knew that. So I don't know, mind over matter, but it felt smoother. Maybe it's a new oil. Maybe it was just nice to drive on a sunny's day. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, till the next video. Bye for now.